Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about character goals. So we've talked about plot from a sort of roleplay 101 perspective. We've also talked about it from a writing perspective, but a huge part of roleplay is playing a character. So let's talk about plot from a character perspective, and the way we do that is character goals. When role-playing, we're largely focused on our character. Now, of course, we should be concerned about the plot and the setting and the themes and all of that stuff too, but our character is our primary concern because when we're role-playing, we're the only ones that can affect our character. So there's two primary types of character goals, external and internal. External character goals are goals that the character shows the world. So for example, Haley Marshall in the originals has a goal of finding out about her birth parents and getting more information on them. Lightning in Final Fantasy XIII has a goal of saving Sarah. An internal goal, by contrast, is a goal that the other characters don't necessarily know about. Also, depending on your comfort level with the other mun, other muns might not even know about this goal that you're playing against. Um, for my thoughts on keeping those sorts of secrets, see my Roleplay 101 video about plotting. I'm going to link that up in the card somewhere. But as an example, in Harry Potter, Snape's goal is to protect Harry. In Kill la Kill, Satsuki's goal is to go and kill her mother. These are all internal goals. We don't find out about them until later in the story. So in narrative, you'll notice that it's easy to think of external goals for protagonists and internal goals for antagonists. The reason for this is, of course, because we're usually experiencing a story from the protagonist's perspective. But role play is different. In role play, each mun experiences the story from their character's perspective. This means that your character is always the point of view character, and you should play them that way, and every mun should be playing their character in that way as well. Now, this of course doesn't mean that every character is the hero or that your character is the hero of the story, it just means that roleplay as a medium is unique, and that we get to see the story from every character's perspective. Protagonist, antagonist, and everything in between. If you know everything about your character that we talked about in my top five things you should know about your character video, and you're still struggling to plot with that character, it's possible that a goal is what you're missing. So take some time to think about that. What is your character's goal? Is it internal? Is it external? Do they maybe have more than one goal? Now there's lots of goals that you can give your character. If we're talking about canon characters, of course, do your research into the canon, take that character's goal from the canon, and adapt it to whatever sort of role play that you're doing. But what if you're playing an original character or maybe a minor character that doesn't have a clear goal? Let's talk about how you could potentially come up with some goals for your original characters. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is a way that we can conceive of a person's goals. Now, it isn't perfect, but essentially what it says is that people take care of goals in a certain order, so it's a tiered approach to goals. First, we have physiological, such as food and shelter. Second, we have safety. Then we have relationship needs, such as friendships or finding a partner. Then we have esteem needs. These are feelings of accomplishment. Then last, at the very top, we have self-actualization needs. These are needs of feeling purpose. Now, the way Maslow's theory works is that we fulfill these needs in that sort of tiered order. Now, if you think about this for a moment, you'll realize this isn't exactly true, but it does give us a wide range of goals that our characters might have. Maybe they're creative and they're trying to get others to notice their art. Maybe they're living in poverty and they're trying their best to make ends meet. Maybe their job is super important to them and they're trying to get a promotion. The goals don't necessarily have to be complicated or grand. They can be simple everyday goals just like you might have. And remember also your character doesn't have to be limited to just one goal. They can have lots of goals, big and small, just like regular people do. Just make sure not to go overboard. The point of this is to make plotting easier for you, not harder. Once you know your character's goal, figuring out a plot you can get them through becomes much simpler because you know what you're aiming for. You know what you want the resolution to be because you know your character's goal. That means you can figure out that climax or turning point in the plot. And then everything in between. Um, for more information on what I'm talking about with plot structure, go ahead and take a look at my plot video. I'm going to link that up in the card as well. 
So in lots of role play circles, you see plot prompts, which are essentially thread ideas. Once you know your character's goal, you can take these prompts and adapt them into a plot that actually goes somewhere. It doesn't just sort of meander around into nothing and then get boring before you drop it. This also helps you put in obstacles. You know what your character wants? You can put in things to stop them from getting it. Because where's the fun in making your character get exactly what they want immediately? Make it hard for them so that when they finally reach their goal, it's more satisfying. What are some goals that you guys have had for your characters? Let me know down below. I'm super curious about some of those details. Remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notifications, all of the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.